Vanilla Woods here and here you have Santal Vanille. At first I was kind of like, ooh, not necessarily what I wanted. You know, it's a little bit jarring, a little bit sharp. It's what serves as the backbone for the fragrance too. Right over that spiciness. Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Charlotte. If you're new here, I do videos on beauty and fragrance every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for joining me here today. It's so nice to see you. So today, I wanted to share with you a comparison review of a very new perfume that just came out by The Seven Virtues, and that is Santal Vanille, right here. Here it is. Here's the beautiful bottle. I really like the uh, labels on here. I think they're really beautiful. And also if you turn it around, you can see it will give you a little bit of information. It says it's certified leaping bunny. It says best for feeling, feeling at peace, feeling at peace, releasing tension, focusing the mind with sustainably sourced sandalwood essential oil from Sri Lanka. So there you go. That's what it says right there, Santal Vanille. And this is by Seven Virtues, which honestly, I don't know that much about the brand and I would like to know because I know they have a very like strong mission statement, I guess. Yeah, the story here says, this clean perfume supports environmental education programs for women in Sri Lanka. Our sustainably sourced sandalwood creates fair wage employment for the local community. Top note of myrrh, heart note of vanilla, and a base note of sandalwood. This is so interesting to me because, <laughs> okay, this is the first time that I see what the notes are because you guys, I can, it's not on Fragrantica yet and I couldn't find it anywhere. I literally just saw them live with you right now. And I was wondering, because to me, like that makes sense, myrrh, vanilla, and sandalwood. What I was smelling at the top, which is the myrrh, and of course it's myrrh, I get it now, but I wasn't sure if it was cloves or cardamom, which, you know, makes sense. They're, they're a little bit similar. But yeah, that's what I was getting first. And at first I was kind of like, ooh, not necessarily what I wanted. You know, it was a little bit jarring, a little bit sharp. That spiciness, but right over that spiciness, straight away, just really, 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 really buttery sandalwood. Like very buttery, like more buttery than even creamy. I wore this for a couple days and I really, really like this. I like this much better than, for instance, Vanilla Woods. Here you have uh, Vanilla Woods here, and here you have Santal Vanille over here. And if you want to see the way the juice looks different, all of that. Vanilla Woods is a lot more caramel, fruity, woody. And I still do like it. To me, it's a smoky fall kind of vanilla scent. I still do like it, but there's something I've said it before that when I spray it, there's something like a stale cigarette tobacco scent. And I like tobacco in my fragrances, so it's not that I don't like tobacco. It's really that it's like a stale cigarette smell instead of like fresh tobacco. You know what I mean? But when I don't smell that, I really like it. But because I sometimes get whiffs of that, it really ruins the experience for me a little bit. So. Yeah, like if you want a really, really beautiful, I know I'm kind of going off, but I don't think you will. I know I'm kind of deviating here, but I don't think you will mind. Uh, I just wanted to let you know. I really firmly believe, and you can learn from my mistake. <laughs> it's not really, it's fine, it's fine, okay? But basically when I picked this out, I was actually wondering if I should maybe pick Kayali Vanilla 28. And yes, I should have picked Kayali Vanilla 28. Vanilla 28 is your beautiful, beautiful, can't go wrong, vanilla fragrance. Vanilla Woods is just a little bit more smoky. It has that questionable woody tobacco note thing going on that I said. So there you go. Santal Vanille. Now this one, that spiciness from the myrrh, if, it, if that scares you, and to me it would if I had known, it goes away, it goes away. Like you you get it and, and it goes away, but it's it's also, it's what serves as the backbone for the fragrance too. That's what adds the warmth to the fragrance and also makes it a little bit more suitable for different times of year. So for example, smelling this allowed me to understand Santal Complet a little bit more because they are actually quite similar in their sandalwood accord. They're both very sandalwood dominant, but 
the Santal Complet one is a little bit brighter, drier, powderier, and has that zesty lemon coconut opening. That's really beautiful. And that's what I smell right away out of this one. The Santal Vanille is a lot warmer, more rich, lush. It has that warmth, like I said which to me it can go both ways it can either be warmth that's like co it's, it's all it can either be like the warmth that goes so well with the sun and the heat of the sun and the buttery sandalwood and it feels very like almost like vacation like you know but the warmth of the myrrh also makes it suitable for a year-round sort of scent this would be a really good uh a really good signature signature scent sorry this would be a really good signature scent for someone who's really really crazy about vanilla sandalwood and i say vanilla sandalwood because it's sandalwood dominant but it has that luscious velvety vanillic component that vanilla lovers love you know what i mean and that not all sandalwood lovers necessarily love so yeah, and I do want to say I really like the bottle. I think it's so cute. I love the colors of this picture and I think it's so cute. What I think kind of interesting is that, you know, between these two, this and this, similarly to Fragrance du Bois, uses high quality essential oils, but they have a huge price difference, right? So Santal Vanille, you can buy a full bottle for, I don't know, a little bit less than $100 Canadian, whereas Santal Complet, I don't know. It's like three or four hundred dollars for a bottle. Pagans Dubois is known for having an exceptionally beautiful presentation and it's really a luxurious item to buy. It's a luxury item. But if you want something that is along the same road, so that sandalwood effortless, sexy, year-round skin scent. And I say skin scent not in a bad way, I just mean these are long-lasting, but they're not meant to project very that much. They're just beautiful, lingering, warm sandalwood scents. That, and that's why to me they're really good signature scents uh, because I know that if I smelled these on someone I would remember them and I would remember them for that scent and for that smell and I would definitely get like an emotional connection or a reaction to that scent and to me that's what a, that's what a uh, signature scent is for me it has to have that it has to have that evocative nature about it that makes you feel like you're gonna be remembered for that scent you know what I mean and some are just too nondescript or too or too specific to really serve that purpose and so that's why you know there's there's nothing wrong with a signature scent mass pleasing scent do you know what I mean like it can be it can be it can be the winning scent in your collection actually so yeah, again, I have to keep saying this. It's really buttery in that same way that like coconut can be really, really buttery. And that's maybe why it also kind of reminds me of a summer scent, even though it's so much warmer than, it's so warm though, which also makes me think of fall. So there you go, that's Santal Vanille. I really like this. I look forward to testing it out for the next few months. I and see you know what my long-term feelings are about it yeah let me know what you know what your thoughts are about any of the seven virtues scents if you've smelled any of them i also really like lily and blackberry or something like that i got a little sample of it at some point and i was really pleasantly surprised because i wouldn't have thought i would have liked that but it was good i'm gonna have to revisit that sample actually so yeah let me know down in the comments I hope you enjoyed that. Until we see each other again, please take care of yourself. Bye.